And now for our segment, Should I Worry, in which every week we talk about something that worries us. One viewer writes, quote, I am a 60-year-old man. I've been taking statins for most of my adult life. Although I've had no side effects so far, what are the long-term risks of that use? Dr. Siegel, I mean, it's supposed to be the magic drug, you know, with cholesterol, but now there's some new concerns. Eric Arthel, I treat this every day. Here's the bottom line. Everyone that has had heart disease or a stroke should be on statins, but only 70% are. For those of you who have risk factors for heart disease or stroke, like diabetes, like high blood pressure, like smoking, like high cholesterol, guess what? It cuts down your risk of heart attack, stroke, and death. But it also increases your risk of diabetes. It increases your risk of muscle problems, rarely liver problems. Arthel, Eric, I check for, for muscle problems in everyone I have on this. I ask them if they're having complaints like that, and I check muscle enzymes. Fuzzy thinking or difficulty with memory has not been proven, but if someone complains about it, I will take it seriously and stop it, and the problem reverses. So, Dr. Samadhi, you take statins, I think, because of high cholesterol, right? So what's considered high cholesterol levels, and how long is too long to take these statins? Well, in theory, anything over 200 is high cholesterol, and you also have to look at the ratio of your bad cholesterol and good cholesterol. And this is a discussion you should have with your cardiologist and with your medical doctor. Um, while I think Lipitor and these uh, statins are actually good medication, and in certain patients who have had heart attacks and stroke, it actually can reduce the risk of mortality. I think the whole concept of, of death from heart disease may or may not be just cholesterol alone, because we, have, we need cholesterol. Cholesterol is actually a great thing for us. We have it in cell membrane all over our body. We have it in our brain. So this knee-jerk reaction that everyone should be on Lipitor because it can prevent any kind of heart disease, I don't buy it. I think too many people are on these medications. The side effects are actually horrendous. Even though it's rare to get rhabdomyolysis or breaking down the muscles and kidney failure, but that has happened. In general, you will get, I took it myself a couple of weeks, severe muscle pain, your fatigue, there's some memory loss with it. So I think there's a, a lot of debate and I think too many people are taking too many things. Let me tell you why I think I, people I, should I, be I don't on think these treat. I don't think you should treat think, a number here. You can't, yes. you can't treat a number here. You have to treat a patient. Mm -hmm. And patients that have risk factors for heart disease, so you don't just treat the cholesterol number to Arthel's question, you treat the overall risk factor. So those that are at high risk of heart disease or stroke, you really go to this. But what cholesterol I was trying to, itself, Mark, you try what, to get, get that. Get what that I was trying ways. to really get out is that I think for short term period, mm -hmm. it's actually a good thing to go on these medications. And, and Mark is obviously the expert in this, but I want people to really like try to get out of this hmm. statin zone and get to exercise and get healthy food. I know it's the same boring stuff, but I think short term is a good way to go, but then get into your normal habits. Because if you're going to take statins and end up with diabetes, then what the hell do we do? Right. We're not helping you. So don't, get, don't be on this for a long time. All right. That's uh, great advice. Talk to your doctor if you Thank do you take Mark. these. Absolutely.